G'day everyone, welcome back to Whimsycraft episode 7. This episode is going to be awesome. I'm going to be doing some major terraforming. I just got to wait for this rain to clear first. So before I do any major terraforming projects, I need to build a moss farm and I'm going to build it right here. This is right next to where Will's base is and it's how we're going to connect our bases a bit better. We're going to have his style of building but on my side of the river. And we're going to make sort of a little river town and it, it should look really cool. The design I'm going to use is Exuma's moss farm design, so it should work really efficiently. Let's get to it. The farm design is by Exuma from the Hermacraft server, but the video tutorial that I'm following on YouTube is not by Exuma, it's by someone called Scaffold. So I'll leave a link to the farm design in the description on Scaffold's channel, and you can subscribe to him there and support him. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't claim this for myself. Uh, and also while you're in the description, maybe drop a like and a subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Alright, I'm pretty sure I've got all the items I need to build this farm now. Here they are in here. Um, but I think I need to clear out more area because uh, it's a lot bigger than this little area that me and Will have marked out. So I just need to chop down a few of these trees. All right, trees have been chopped, and now I just need to remove some of this. Hey, I'm stabbed out. <laughs> this guy started attacking me. Oh gosh, no! Ah, oh. and lag. The way Scaffold explains it in his video is you're gonna go four out on each side, so like four that side, um, and here you add a piston facing up I think the sand and then uh, that there and I think it's a leather here and then oh damn I'm hungry yeah so place a redstone there and um, what's next I probably shouldn't film it this way I'm maybe I'll just do a time-lapse and build the whole thing in replay mod let's do that yeah so as you can see I'm building in replay mod I actually had to Build it three times because I wasn't happy with the position the first two times I did it, but I was finally happy with the th on the third time. Um, and yeah, the reason why I need a moss farm is because I want to do some crazy terraforming on my base, and I've sort of been procrastinating making a moss farm to get started with it because I need a lot of moss. Um, and yeah, I didn't really want to wait till there's a moss farm opened. Uh, a moss store opened on the server, so yeah, that's why I did this. Yeah, so as you can see, the moss farm actually isn't done. I'm actually at the stage where I finished the stone generators, and I wanted to test on camera um, to see if it will work, uh, and I haven't messed anything up, so I'm going to turn it on and off, and it should start generating stone. Um, <laughs> I, need, I need to get to the scaffolding. Oh yeah, it's working! Oh, that's awesome. Why does it have to rain? Weed ads. All right, if I haven't made any mistakes, this moss farm should now be completely finished. I filled it up with bone meal. It's got a system that composts moss that comes by and puts it straight back into the dispenser. Um, and I've also got a storage system over here, that, which I'm probably going to change. I'm going to make it so it filters out everything but moss blocks and puts them into some composters. So I only get moss blocks. But yeah, I haven't, I've tested it on the items in my inventory, that's why there's stuff in here. But, I need to give it the official test. Alright, um, I'm a bit worried. But, I think I just gotta start it. Let's do it. I'm gonna go in free cam as soon as I start this. So, I think I just have to do that. Uh, free cam. Oh, there we go, moss! And, is it gonna go again? Alright, it's been a bit of time. I managed to mess it up when I first flicked the lever, but it didn't really break anything. But I figured out that I just need to flick it twice, and then it worked. But I've already got it on, so I didn't need to flick it off. Oh, can I not climb scaffolding? Uh, so it works really well. Um, I was AFK a little bit while I was eating dinner, and yeah, it's already filled up two and a half chests of moss. Um, this is really good. Alright, now that I have the moss farm, I can finally start 
adding to my base and expanding it. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while now and I want to extend the river. I know I haven't done much of the foliage. I plan on the like, bulk doing that. Um, and like once I found a few designs and I found out that works, I just don't have any more of these flowers, but all these are really easy to, to collect. So, um, yeah, I can continue that up here if I wanted, but I want to expand this way and I'll explain more about what I want to do for my base plans. My main mega base sort of area is going to be up there. All right, I'm going to move on. This is all the dirt and this is a bunch of moss. I actually don't have any more shocker boxes, but I've got a lot more moss at the moss farm over there. But yeah, I'm going to get a move on. Let's start the replay recording now. All right, so this was a bit of a mountain of a project pun intended because I actually do build a mountain and I did it all in stream and during the stream Cake logged on and he came over and helped me place a bunch of dirt. It was actually super helpful it probably would have saved me like another hour or 40 minutes or something so massive thank you to Cake. Um, but yeah I didn't detail it very much I only used stone andesite moss and dirt um, and I'm going to go back through it and add some more lichen, uh, mossy cobblestone, more moss and like coarse dirt between all the blocks and also some mud as well. Um, but I just wanted to get the shape in place and I think it worked out really well. Um, but yeah, this definitely was a big project and I was not planning on building a mountain when I started struggling. I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to expand my base a bit. Um, no, didn't really have a plan, but... I ended up doing this and it's really cool. I'm really happy with it. So yeah, let's cut back to the game. So this is the view from Will's base. I think he's got a pretty great view. It's going to look so much better once I put trees and bushes and stuff on top of it. Um, and yeah, as you can see, pretty mountainous project um, to do in one stream. <laughs> Um, it's, this is actually going to be a pretty small mountain compared to what I'm going to build over here though. Uh, and right here, this is going to be a lake and, uh, the lake is going to connect to the river here, but I need a lot of cobblestone and tuff because, um, I want to use the same resources that I did here on the lake over there. Um, but I don't have like any tuff or I don't have much cobblestone either. So I'm not going to do that right now. But what I am going to do right now is I'm going to finish detailing the mountain because I just left it very bare bones. I only used diorite, stone, andesite, moss, and uh, grass and dirt. I want to mix in a lot more blocks, as you can see over here. I use a lot of coarse dirt in the ground and also a lot more moss. Right now, the moss is mainly just around the edges of the build, but I want to have patches of moss just around the place. I also want to mix in some mossy cobblestone onto the rock walls and also maybe some lichen, and then it'll be good to put all the foliage in. I actually did another stream yesterday where me and Augie and Will and Jack killed some withers, and we also drank the Among Us potion at 3am, but I did get a wither star. A wither star? I mean, a nether star. <laughs> but yes, I get to have my own beacon now. Yeah, baby! Alright, before I do any extra work on the mountain above me, I want to get rid of this forest. And I don't want to waste all the leaves, so I'm just going to go through before I chop them all down. And I'm just going to collect as many leaves as I can. Deforestation is the primary contributor to climate change. Yeah. And climate change affects the health of forest. Yeah, yeah. Land use change, especially in the form of deforestation, mm -hmm, is the second largest source of carbon dioxide emissions. Mm -hmm, yeah, from human activities after burning fossil fuels. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, now that I've cleared all the trees, except that one apparently, um, I've got so much room to do whatever I want. There's so much cool things I could do with a dark area. And uh, it's like it's nighttime over here, but then it's daytime. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit weird. Um, I could make like a creeper farm or some sort of farm, like a tree farm or something. I don't know, I could make like a farming area under here. I think that would be cool. But yes, now I, I don't have any rockets. I'm going to need to <laughs> climb the scaffolding here. But now I'm going to detail this mountainous area. Like there's not very many different blocks going on here. So I want to make it a bit more detailed. I don't think I'm going to do the foliage just yet. I just want to get more detail on the cliffs and ground and stuff. 
All right, so I've had numerous messages from Tremonic telling me to get on the Whimsycraft server, like right now, and uh, I wanted to go to bed, but I guess I'm getting online and I need to see what this is. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Trem wants me to hey. go to his base. <laughs> All right, you mind if I join? I'm sorry, my base, not his base. I don't know why I said his base. Yeah, you can join. Let's go to my cool. base. Oh, wait, this is so cool. I, oh my gosh, what is that? What is this? Why is there a giant baby? I heard you're not a fan of those. <laughs> and there's an honorable fool as well. No. Goo Goo Gaga, I'm Laurie's number one fan. What does this mean? No, 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 no! Honorable, no, 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 come on! Okay, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Why is Spaghetti <laughs> there? <laughs> what, what have you done? They're all going for you, Honorable. No? Honorable, fly away, fly away, Honorable. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't fair. What is this prank? <laughs> oh no, they insta die. Oh, I have to try oh, to hit so... a <laughs> There's so many. I'm Why? Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh no. Fly away. Fly away. I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm at spawn. <laughs> Why? Why did the baby give birth to a million silverfish? That is not something I wanted to see today. Well, oh my gosh. None of them even delivered my elytra to me so I can get back easier. I'm SMHing my head right now. What a random prank. What? Are you guys allied with the babies? What is that sound? <laughs> oh my gosh, that. not again. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on, where's my just, just chest run, plate? Run, 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 just fill her up. <laughs> what if I get to the stone in my base? Then my stone's gonna be all infested. Just don't let them get to your stone. It's simple as that. <laughs> no. Let me help you clear them up. Do you have like a, a farm in there that spawns them? Yeah, 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 that's like a full blown farm in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, they, the oh, they're is... flooding my face. They got into the stone. <laughs> Why did oh, you no. let him get to some stone? Oh. <laughs> Wait, I want oh, he's gonna, he's gonna blow up the baby. Don't blow it up yet. Don't blow it up yet. Huh? No, it, it doesn't spawn anything because I got the LAs out. I just don't want the LAs to die. I don't, I don't think the silverfish was the problem he had with it. <laughs> oh, is it actually... Wait, wait, let me get my, my, my children away from that. We should do this Blow. to somebody else, actually. <laughs> it's blown up! <laughs> ah, this feels good. That was good. <laughs> the, the one bit of beef is still in the back, it survived. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's a few days later now, and they've... Frankenstein the baby back to existence. Goo goo ga ga, I had surgery, ga ga ga. Why did you hurt me? I don't know, but I'm gonna do it again because I don't have any more TNT. <laughs> but I wanna get rid of this. I don't want it here. <laughs> I'm killing the baby. I don't want the baby here. <laughs> the baby is without a head. This is very good. There we go. Baby is officially dead. I need to destroy these signs as well. There we go. This area looks so much better now that there isn't a baby there. Obviously, there's a big hole after it blew up, but I need to fix this. But yeah, the baby is gone. This is really good. All right, so next on the agenda is I want to detail these cliffs because right now, to me, they're not very detailed. The, there's just like five different blocks used here, but I want to add a few more blocks to make it blend better. Um, so I think I'm going to need to go to the shopping district and get some... Uh, more wool and uh, Might see what else is being sold that can help me blend the blocks a bit better 
All right, so it's one diamond per slot, so I'm gonna buy this out. By the way, this is a terrible shop. It's a pop-up shop on the path of our SOA street. And it doesn't even have an ender chest. This is my ender chest right here. Um, don't want to fortune it. But yeah, oh, which one is that? Okay, yeah, don't want to fortune it. Um, but this shop is definitely problematic. All right, I'm ready to start adding extra details to the cliff faces. Um, I've got some coarse dirt in here, so I can add some detail to the grass. Um, I'm also going to add a bunch more moss to the grass up top. Um, I've also got a bunch of mossy cobblestone and some like grey wool. And I'm thinking of adding a bit of colour with this white terracotta, adding like some streaks going around. Um, I'll also be using some lichen. I don't have lichen on me right now, but I'll definitely grab some lichen. This grey wool is going to help blend, oh, that's not my pickaxe, it's going to help blend the stone and the diorite a lot better if I just add it in between. And I'm not going to add a lot of it, I still want, I still want a lot of stone and diorite. I'm just going to add a little bit of grey wool like I'm, uh, like I'm stitching the two areas together, like see how it's like lines going down. It's not, it's not like a full transition, it's not like a full gradient, it's like I'm stitching the two uh, blocks together, like this. Alright, I've only done this cliff face at the bottom here, just for an example. Um, so yeah, I've gone through and put in all the light grey wool. Now I want to go place all this mossy cobble in between the stone and the moss up there. Alright. I've added in the mossy cobble, and to explain what I've done is I've sort of still stitched it in a way, but not as like down streaks, more of like side streaks. Um, but it's also got a bit more randomness, like this isn't really stitching, this is more just random, but like over here it's like side, you can see it's like side stitches, I don't know. Um, I, I, is this a good way of explaining it? I don't even know, but I'm just trying to like tell you what my mind is going through while making this. I've also now just added some lichen around the cliff face, which you should like and subscribe if you like this video. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's not very noticeable, um, but it does sort of make the cliff glow a bit at night, which I don't know how I feel about that, but... Um, it's meant to blend the diorite and the stone a bit better, as you can see. It sort of works pretty well when you do get up really close and notice it. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and repeat everything I did here and put it up on all the cliff faces around here and stuff. Yeah, should be good. Let's do it. Alright, I finished placing the blocks on the cliff. As you can see, we've got lichen, grey wool, mossy cobble, and it helps blend the cliff so much better. I feel like over here I need to get a bit more mossy cobblestone, I think it's lacking. I've got a lot of lichen but not much mossy cobblestone, but I've got enough light grey wool. I think it's very nice. And I'll just free cam, it goes all the way around and all the way over here. And I'm not too sure about this. Um, I think it looks fine, but I'm not 100% on it, but I think, I think it still looks good. Um, I might come back at another time and change it. But I'm really happy with this cliff so far. Next, I'm going to add foliage, but I'm not going to do that in this episode. At some point, I'm going to clean this area down here because it's such a mess. But um, you probably noticed in my imagery, I've got a lot of glow lichen. Yeah, so this is my glow lichen farm. All I have to do is turn it on. It dispenses a bunch of bone meal. And I just have to jump in here and go crazy with my O snippers shears. And like, look how much bone meal I'm getting. You can see it in my hotbar. Damn, already a stack. Don't even need that much. I'm going to turn it off. This farm is designed by Il Mango. So, um, yeah, I'll leave the link to the farm design in the description. It's very easy and very time efficient. Three oh, my time. goodness. What's the record? <laughs> Four, I think. Four. Yeah, that was awesome. So yeah, funny. I was really good at this. Here's number four. Uh. Oh. oh, there oh. we go. Uh. Oh, the sun's out now. Ah, bet you didn't know you could dance with phantoms. I think I'm gonna end the video here. I think you should. Oh, that's the wrong way around. I think you should subscribe. <laughs> I feel like this video might have been a bit all over the place, and I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna try and keep things more organized in the next episode. I'm happy with all the progress I made on my base, and can't wait to put all the foliage on this. My base is gonna look so good. 
I do really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a good day or night, whatever time zone you are. Oh gosh, my window is open and there's kookaburras is screaming. I don't know if that's picking up. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to end it here. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Boop.